today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the first palette of the month video for March and as I said in the last part in February I am going to pick a palette that starts with an M and I have and it was between two palettes um, but I choose this one and I took you have already seen it in the title so I don't know why I like build up the tension but I took the Masquerade Mini by Yves Place. And why I took this is because I like never use this. So I wanted to do that. And if you don't know, the palette looks like this. So this is like, these two are the more colorful rows. And these are the two more natural. <laughs> so this... I like it with this palette, but it has only two matte colorful shades and it is these two, so that is like the only thing I don't like, but other than that I think this is a good palette to like begin with color because it has both and you can do whoop, <laughs> you can do a pop of color if you want to. So today I am just going to do whatever I want. I don't know if I'm going to do a palette bingo with this palette. I didn't do it with the palette I had in February, but I'm going to do it with this one. But today I am just going to do whatever I want. So I actually want to do a purple look. Who am I? I don't know, but that green looks good. Okay, I'm going in with, I'm going to do purple. I think I will start with this one, Sobo, and take it in my crease. And one thing I don't like about Yuva's Place, they don't have a mirror, so I need to have another palette with a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And it annoys me a little bit. It was such a long time ago since I played with this. I like can't even remember when. I have a UVS place, UVS place week up on my channel and then I used this and then I have had done a collab with this. And I think that's maybe all. Maybe I've used one of the shades in another look, but I don't think so. I don't remember though, so maybe I have, but I don't remember. But I will leave videos up here in the corner where I have used this palette. So okay, this looks good. Nothing wrong with this. I really like Yves Place shadows. I think they are like some of the best, especially shimmer shades. The mattes are good, but they really, their shimmer shades are like amazing. Okay, and then I'm going in with these two to have on my lid. So this on my outer corner and this on my inner corner. And I really hope that this will look awesome. If it doesn't, I'm going to be a little bit sad, but I think it will. Quite a long time ago since I used my UVS place, but I actually have two new UVS place that I haven't played with yet. I don't think at least. <laughs> now when I'm recording this, I haven't, but maybe it has come up videos on those before this one, but I don't think so. I am trying to plan my channel a little bit better. It's going okay, but I could do so much better. I don't know how far in I want to take this. I think pretty far. I'm also like smudging it up to my crease. 
taking it like a little bit all over my crease. And if I'm going to be honest, this is like not my favorite shimmer shade from Use Place. It feels like it's pretty like dry. I can like build it up, but with the most of Use Place, I don't need to do that. So like that, and then I will. It's like purple everywhere on the palette. Then I will go in with this one on my inner half of my lid and I really hope that this will look good but I think it will do or should I take something completely different maybe I should take this green or this blue I think I'll take this green instead that looks super cool with this, so I take the green instead. Maybe I'm going to regret it. We will see. Maybe I should have cut my crease. Do a little faux cut crease or something. Oh, that was, this works. It's just I have like quite a lot of purple under here so it maybe isn't like that bright that I wanted it to be. But I think it works. I can just like pack it on a little bit extra. Like get it more opaque and one thing I really really like about doing only shimmers on my lid it's so much easier to blend them together it's like I almost doesn't have to do anything okay I wonder if this was the right choice what do you think should I have gone in with the lighter one instead oh, I think this was because I can take the lighter one in my inner corner and really pop it in there yeah it feels like the purple has like gone away a little bit on this eye and I don't think it is the purple because I have talked about this before this eye both my eyelid like underneath my eye is very very dry I don't know why maybe it's just because of this winter in Sweden that isn't like a winter but it is a winter I just hate this time of year I don't know if it's that but I having like a super thick cream and I just started using it again like yesterday so I think it's because of that because on this eye it looks good so it's not the shadow's fault I don't think at least because it looks good on one of the eyes but just so you know what's up okay I am finished like this on my lids so I will take away the fallouts and <laughs> fix my face and my brows and then I come back and we do the under eyes and I'm going to pop this one in my inner corner to really have like popping inner corner for my under eyes I don't really know if I want to go in with this one or because it feels like this is going to fall like everywhere so yeah, I will see I will fix this and then come back Okay, so base is on and now I'm going in with the under eyes and I think I'm going to take the shade I had in my crease, this one underneath my eye and then this one in my inner corner. So I think I just <laughs> will fix that.
Okay, and then I'm going in with the light shimmer and just pop it in here. And I think I want to take pretty much. And I am spraying this because I don't want any fallouts. And just, oh my lord, this was much. Okay, this really popped. Okay, so I actually think I like this look. So I'm putting something in my waterline, put on mascara and something on my lips. And then I will be back. I know what I want to take in my waterline. I have no idea what I want to take on my lips. No idea. But I will fix that and then I'll come back. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I used boots from Colourpop and on my lips I used one lip tone from Kaleidos. This is in Immersion. I really like this lip tonic and hair. What is this? I still like. I lived with a side cut for six years, I think, and I still don't know how to have a normal haircut. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. So this is my first look with the Masquerade palette from Yves Place and this is the palette of the month. I don't know what I want to do with this. I f am going to do palette bingo but then I will see and I will really try to have four videos of this this month. Once a week. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that but I should be. So yeah, I really hope you liked it and I hope that you are looking forward to to see what I am going to do with this palette. Do you have this palette and what do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? So yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!